What's going on everybody? It's Pelfrey. It's extremely loud because I'm doing laundry. So I uh, went ahead and changed out three filters and the Spectra Pure uh, Roadie. So I was getting zero TDS on the output. I'm still getting zero TDS on the output, but for sake of me having problems with SPS, I went ahead and picked up three filters. Got them installed on the Rota unit, and now I am pumping water into the garage, so it's a little bit quieter out there. Let's head out to the garage. In the garage, you can see that I've got this container almost filled up. I will work on this container tomorrow, but uh, I don't really think that it was a Rota issue. Um, basically, if you've been following me for a long time, you, you know that I keep 80 gallons, this is a 40 gallon container, this is a 40 gallon container. So I keep 80 gallons of fresh water and uh, it depends if I do water changes every week. So if I do a five gallon water change every week and I'm topping off the auto top off with five gallons, so I'm using 10 gallons. So these uh, two containers right here will last me about two months. So that means that I do not run the Spectra Pure uh, 90 gallon per day system very often. I read on the internet that you should run it once a month, I think it was, so that the membrane doesn't go bad, but I don't really know if there's truth to that because I've been doing this for a long time. But anyway, I went ahead and replaced the filters in the uh, roadie system, and now I'm getting some more water because you can see this container was pretty low at about two and a half gallons, and this container was at about five gallons. So here we are at the tank. Uh, I did switch to the Red Sea Blue Bucket Salt and um, I'll show you my test results of alkalinity here in a moment. The one I wanted to touch base on real quick was these door locks. They're, uh, they're pretty nice. So you don't see anything on the exterior. You take this magnet here, you slide it down, it compresses the lock there and you can open up the cabinet. So this is how I keep my kids out of the engine bay of the reef tank. So let's go ahead and let's turn the light on. You may see a new reactor here. Basically, I do have a motion sensing light in the cabinet, but it's got an on switch too. So basically what I did was uh, used a fitting here and I added a BRS mini reactor to the sump area. So the Aquamax reactor worked out perfectly. I had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, I chose the BRS mini reactor just because it's gonna be a little bit easier to change out the media. And I know that, you know, I've tried to keep it pretty in the sump area for the most part, but right now I'm looking for functionality. I'm looking for things that are easy to do. Whenever it comes time to changing the media in this reactor, it's gonna be a lot easier than unscrewing eight screws on the Aquamax reactor. So I did a water change today and uh, I put some fresh carbon in the tank because as I mentioned in my last video, that maybe there's some coral warfare with the mushrooms that are right here and maybe the leather. The leather, I'm beside myself because a lot of people keep these toadstool leathers successfully with SPS, but we'll kind of see what's going on. So interesting fact, I do plan to test some par with the camera and uh, record it, but I'll put this piece over here and maybe it's getting a little bit too much light because it's white at the base and white at the tip. So I really don't know what's going on, folks. I went old school with the tracking of the parameters. Now I do use the Apex Fusion app to track the parameters, but I decided to write them down this time. So I do still have these in my Fusion tracker. So. Uh, last weekend, I tested alkalinity, it was 7.7, calcium was 4.20, magnesium was 14.80, phosphate zero, nitrate zero. Through the week, I tested uh, alkalinity 7.7, 7.7, 7.8, 7.6, 7.7. Now, I am uh, dosing a little bit of alkalinity just to try to keep it stable. Uh, I like where it's at. I don't really want it to drop any lower. I also do not want it to go any higher just because I'm running a, a low nutrient system. Now. On Saturday, whenever I tested calcium, I got 450 and I got 1560, which is a significant jump to uh, a week ago. And the important part to uh, discuss here is that I'm not dosing calcium and I'm definitely not dosing magnesium. Now, the reagents in my Red Sea test kit were expired. I don't know if that's 
ultimately the culprit, but there's a pretty good discrepancy between 420, 450, 1480, and 1560. So I'm going to leave it up to uh, you to decide, but I feel like since the uh, reagents were expired, the 1420 and the 1480 that I got there and the 450 and the 1560 that I got on the new reagents is probably real life just because I've been using Coral Pro Salt and uh, we all know that it's elevated in all elements. So I'm now using the blue bucket. I'm expecting the 450 and the 1560 to drop over time, especially with the uh, low alkalinity. But let me know your thoughts on, uh, on what to do, if there's anything that I could do other than let it drop naturally. All right, before we get started with a par reading, we all know that I'm known for YouTube shout outs. I'm gonna give a shout out again to Coral Euphoria. Uh, he did a video not long ago uh, saying that it was like a Saturday or Sunday. He started getting a lot of notifications with a lot of new subscribers. So slide on over to Coral Euphoria. The link is gonna be in the description below. Let's get him to a thousand subscribers. He's got a beautiful 120 gallon tank. Not only that, but he's got years and years of experience. The more subscribers he can get, the better content we're gonna get. And uh, maybe he can spill some of that secret sauce. Another, another channel that I'm gonna shout out real quick is Rico's Reef Tank. Why? Because he's got a new build coming. He's just put new floors in his basement for the new build. We all know him as the live stream king. Link is in the description below. I don't think I need to speak much further on Rico's Reef Tank. The third one is the Daily Reefer. I love Jeff. Jeff is a great guy. Just had a baby, always shows the baby. He's got a shack in the backyard of his house that has an experiment basically going on in his backyard. It is crazy what he has going on back there. Uh, he's got the GH GHL, if I can speak correctly, Proflux, the Apex. He's got all kinds of stuff. He's a hardware junkie. He just did a review on the Ice Cap Salinity Monitor and uh, that is something that I'm definitely looking to uh, pick up at some point. He may have put the icing on the cake. So uh, check out the Daily Reefer. Again, link will be in the description below. So you probably can't see the computer very well, but where the uh, power monitor is, which is right here, it is at 216, 252, 219 uh, power. Now, I should say that the gyre pumps are on, so that may change the par a little bit. It jumped down to 177. Now it's up to 230. But let's take a look over in this area here. So I have a couple SPS in this particular area. It's now 140. And if we remember correctly, this area used to be at like 50 par. It's at 130, 140. 145, 148, on top of this rock structure here, 193, 179, 207, 200. We got a lot of SPS over in this area right here. So we got 233, 212. If we jump up just a little bit where some more SPS are, we're at 156, 190, 193, 188, 250. And again, the flow is on on the tank. So that may very well dictate the uh, par readings here, 157. Uh, let's go at the top of this rock structure here. 132, 173, 180. Go down here by this little leather. We're at 70, 95, 68. Go down here to this little mushroom. 89, 113, 111. A little frog spawn here. We got 129, 127. At the sand bed, we are at 132, 139. Now let's switch gears a little bit if I can. Go down to the sand bed on this side of the tank. We are at 147, 152, which I will say that it's pretty dramatic adding the third Kessel to the tank and the par readings. So 148, 168, about midway up. Uh, close to midway up anyway. 203, the top of this rock structure, we're at 230, 260, 230, 
and 233, 170, 240, 222. So again, the flow, I guess, is gonna dictate where we are uh, with uh, par. So now we're at the back of the tank where the this uh, coral frag that I have that's bleached at the top or STN and maybe, and we're at 129, 100, 113. And I should say that the intensity of these Kessels ramp up to about 62% maybe. So they should probably go a little bit higher, but I'm not really sure. Uh, let's check where the Ganapura is. We're at 189, 190, 159. I, you know, the part is all over the place. And uh, I was told in one of the last videos that I did that I should check the par with the flow running. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Currently here, there's an acro right, it's about an inch above the par meter here. We're at 189, 192, 184, 187. So, excuse me, there's a lot of different par numbers associated with adding the third Kessel. But I will say that uh, previously, I was getting about 50 par, give or take, at the sand bed. And, uh, you know, hopefully the uh, euphilia like this, the uh, mushrooms have definitely taken off over the last couple weeks. But, um, you know, we're definitely in the 150, 160 range par on the sand bed now, which is not something that we've experienced before on the Red Sea Reefer. Directly under this acro, we got 152, 133, depending on the flow. So, yeah, the par is all over the place, but I'm feeling pretty confident that the addition of the third Kessel A160 can solve my par problems without a doubt. So, where we're at right now is a little bit under halfway of the tank. We're at 256, 212, 245, 246. The cord moved a little bit. So let's kind of get that to stay stable. The bad thing about the Sinai is it wants to float. I don't like that about the Sinai. But ultimately, I think that the Sinai for an economy par meter is perfectly fine. So holding it steady here, 188, 204, 201, 282. You can see how random the par numbers are in the Red Sea Reefer. That's gonna wrap up another video of the Red Sea Reefer 250. So uh, stay tuned, because I definitely have some interesting uh, hardware coming for the Red Sea Reefer 250. As always, I do appreciate you following along. Check me out on Instagram at Pelfrey's Reef. Check out the website at pelfrey.net, and I'll catch you on the next one.